This is Ward 1. Ward 1 was a uh, psychogeriatric ward for males. Ward 1 was locked at all times because many of the patients inside this ward were elderly, uh, a lot had dementia and used to wander. So to avoid uh, falls, to avoid people being lost and injured, this ward was locked. A lot of deaths would have occurred here, especially in the winter months. After its closure as a, a ward in Royal Island, Ward uh, 1 was um, used by Claremont College and there were some extensive renovations done here. Um, this wasn't an original feature. Unsure what this was going to be used for, this particular ward. Um, but as we go further down, you'll see that a lot of the old windows have been plastered up. Um, unsure of the purpose. The main car park or board one is just out that door. Um, so I'm assuming this would have been the main office area as people would have walked in. The desk would have been there, it would have been greeted by um, I guess a staff member, the main office behind it. And this is what I'm talking about here. As you can see, um, these are actually windows. Um, I can just zoom in here. See for that hole in the old window frame. Um, these have been all plastered up. This is what may have been a large dorm, possibly a day room. Uh, a doorway would have been there, which had been ripped out basically. Through there, uh, I guess we would have kept linen, um, you know, pillows, blankets, things like that. Maybe even possibly some of the patient's clothes. At the moment, I guess we're in the uh, right section if you're facing the lack of where you let. And as you can see, here are some more uh, single rooms inside Ward 1. So the doors are a lot different compared to the other single rooms on site. Big, large uh, open windows in front of the doors. Inside a locker room, inside Ward 1. And I guess this is where most of the uh, patient's clothes would have been kept. Just on the, the, um, the right wing, as you can see the roof's falling in. Um, and we'll go through these doors and see what's down here. storage rooms. What looks like small offices or possibly uh, single rooms again. Maybe a kitchen. This is what looks like might have been a day room. A nice little place to sit down, take in the sun. If you look outside there, you can see how just how close some of the new housing is coming to some of the former wards. Board one would be destined for demolition. But uh, it's pretty interesting to see how close those buildings are going right now.